show you how to make this fun DIY spring artwork. And you, the best part is you can make it with things that you probably have around your house right now. So we really, all we need for this craft is we need some scrapbook paper and we need this fun template that you can download from my website. And then lastly, we are going to use Mod Podge. So it's going to be fun. Come on, let's create together. The first thing you're going to do is go to my website and download this template. Um, it's designed to, it downloads directly to your computer. Then you print it out on your home printer with an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Next, you're going to cut around the edges, trace it onto scrapbook paper and cut out the scrapbook paper. And when you're done, you're going to have a flower pot base that looks like this. There's also another page of the template, which has all of the parts of the flower. You're going to repeat the same process and you'll have a center um, of the flower. You'll also have your leaves here. You're going to have the top of your flower pot here, and you're going to have the stem of the flower here. Once you finished all this cut out, now these leaves, you're going to need six leaves per flower. So you'll need 12 different leaves. And you can do as many different patterns. I kind of mixed and match because I didn't have a lot of scrapbook paper. So for this project, you'll also need a canvas. Now this canvas is 16 by 20. You could use a smaller canvas. All of the cutouts I've designed are for the 16 by 20 canvas. If you don't have a canvas at your home, you could also cut out a piece of wood. That would work as well. You could also even do a piece of cardboard, very thick cardboard and paint it white. If you have kind of not cute, old, um, maybe you bought it at a thrift store or something, old painting, you could always cover it and paint it white and use it for this project. The first thing you're going to want to do is take your flower pot cutout that we already have, turn it over on the back, and you're going to want to coat it with Mod Podge. When you're using Mod Podge, it's always a good idea to start with the back of whatever you're trying to apply just to make sure that there's an even application. You can always go back and add more on the corners um, once you've applied the back. And then once you're done applying to the back, you want to flip it over. If you get Mod Podge on the canvas like that, don't worry about it because you can just um, adjust it. We're going to put more Mod Podge later. So then press it into place like this. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is come back and you're going to add another layer of Mod Podge on the top like this until you've completely covered the flower pot and you have it all pressed into place with your brush, with your extra Mod Podge. If there's any corners that poke up like this, you could always come back and tuck a little bit of Mod Podge underneath like this and then press them down into place and just keep going. You can go be very liberal with a Mod Podge. Use as much as you need to get a good even coat and coverage. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our flower stems. Now these stems are cut. One is slightly bigger than the other. You'll want to cut two from the template and then trim one slightly. We're going to place one on the far left side Kind of make sure it's straight and in place like this. And then you'll take the second template like this. And we'll actually, we're going to want to trim this one down just slightly. So it's, we want our flowers at different heights, not the same height. So go ahead and take the um, piece that you've cut out from the template and trim it down. And then put a little bit of Mod Podge on the back like this. Come over on the far right side. And we're going to put it down just like this is shown. So you can see here that your two flower stems are at different heights. And then you're going to come back and put a coat of Mod Podge on the top to put them in place. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our flowers and we're going to apply the center of our flowers. Again, these are cut out from the template and you can put them on the top like this. And then Mod Podge this one in place and see if again, if it sticks up kind of like that, you just come in and put add a little bit more Mod Podge. Take the second one, go ahead and put Mod Podge on and then go ahead and add this flower in place and add another layer of Mod Podge on the top as shown. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the leaves to our flower. Now I went ahead and cut from the template. I cut out six leaves 
and you just want to kind of put them in place. Now I'm going to layer them on top of the center of the flower just because I didn't want to have to worry about um, placement and I didn't want to overthink. We don't want this to be a hard craft. We want it to be fun. We're inside and we're creating together. You're going to evenly space these as shown and you just kind of keep adding the flower like this. You could add one here. And then we're going to come back and we're going to add two of these blue ones on this side. Keep going until you have all six of your flowers in place. Flower petals, I'm sorry, in place, just like this. And let me go ahead and scoop those over just a little bit. Sometimes after you put them down, you might want to just, actually, let me trim the bottom of this because this one I think is too big. So here's, you'll have to wipe your scissors off if you get Mod Podge on them later, but small price to pay to have a super cute flower. So we go ahead and add this flower back in like this. And then once all of the leaves of the flower are in place, you just add a final coat of Mod Podge to the top of all of the leaves. And again, you can mix and match these different patterns, however you wanna do it that matches your decor at your home. And then you're gonna repeat the same process for the second flower. Okay, once you finish and your flowers are Mod Podge in place, then you wanna kinda of add a final Mod Podge to the canvas because the challenge that you'll have is some of your canvas will be Mod Podge and some not, and we don't really want that. We want an entire kind of glossy surface to our whole canvas. And so you just keep going until your entire canvas is just, and it doesn't have to be a heavy coat of Mod Podge. You can put a light coat of Mod Podge and that works just as well. Just a couple of quick tips when you're Mod Podging. On larger pieces like the flower pot, you might have a few wrinkles. You can always take a foam roller and roll it out. You can also take your finger and kind of press it into place. And lastly, when it's completely dry, if you wanna add a sealer, an acrylic sealer, make sure it's water-based so it doesn't yellow the canvas. You can add that to the top to finish off your project. So here is my finished flower pot and here is my other finished flower pot which I think they make the perfect set and they are going to look amazing in my home. And thank you so much for creating with me today. If you have any questions, you can email me at thistlewoodfarms at yahoo.com and make sure to follow my channel for way more fun crafts just like this one.